Mimi Hines is with us, and we've been talking around the fact that you are in the Imperial Room, starring oh, with it. your colleagues in Mostly Mercer. I have a question for you. When I think of all you've done, you know, I used your name recently in an interview with Lainey Kazan. Oh, yeah, I love Lainey. Lainey Kazan had a part in a movie called Harry and the Hendersons, and she literally burst onto the screen playing the neighbor. We started talking about getting a part in a movie, which she wanted very much. We talked about Mimi Hines and Lainey Kazan and New York and Funny Lady and who understudied whom, who we replaced whom. Funny Girl. Who, sorry, uh, funny, funny Girl. Yeah. Who replaced whom. And of course, the point was that you took over for Barbara Streisand yes. in Funny Girl. The producers were nervous, and then you kept that show alive on Broadway for 18 months. That's right, yeah. Made That's them right. a lot of money. Oh, a lot. Well, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, yeah. And Lainey Kazan was the understudy. Yes, yeah. Who went on one night and did a very good job and disappeared mysteriously. Well, there's a story that goes around about that, that I don't know, you know, you hear stories. I don't know. I've never even asked Lainey these things if they're true, you know, because past is past. But they say that the night she was going to go on, Barbara was sick and that she notified all of the press, everybody, every press man in town was in that theater, and Barbara heard about it and got out of a sick bed and came in and did the show. That's what I heard. And then she did go on at some other time, but Barbara got up and came to work with the flu and a fever and everything just so the press wouldn't, you know, hear about Laney. But Laney was in that show for quite some time, and she didn't stay on as the under I had a different understudy when I was in the show. I'm curious about something. Ray Stark chose me for the show, right out of our, Phil and I were at the, at the, uh, remember the Royal Box in New York at the, uh, whatever, the, the Americana Hotel? We were performing there, and Mr. Stark came in and said, that's, I want her, and that was it. I mean, it was like the finger of God, you know.